Welcome to question number four. In this question you're given that f of x equals 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 29x minus 60. And for part a you're asked to find the remainder when f of x is divided by x plus 2. So that's to find the remainder when f of x is divided by x plus 2. So you might like to try and pause the video if you want to give this a go uh, and come back when you're ready and see if you've got the same solution as myself. Otherwise, uh, if you're struggling with the remainder theorem, maybe our tutorial will help you. Okay, so uh, welcome back if you gave it a go. Let's see how you got on. So if we're trying to find the remainder when f of x is divided by x plus 2, the remainder is found by letting x equal minus 2. So the remainder equals f of minus 2. So it's just a case of putting minus 2 in the formula here and we get 2 times minus 2 all cubed plus 3 times minus 2 squared minus 29 times minus 2 and then minus 60. You might like to work that out all in one go on the calculator. I'm just going to break it down however into smaller steps just so you can check if things did go wrong. Minus 2 cubed is negative 8 times 2 is minus 16 there. And then we're going to have minus 2 squared which is 4, 3 4s are 12. Minus 29 times minus 2 is plus 58 and then we have the minus 60 on the end and working that out comes to minus 6. So our remainder when f of x is divided by x plus 2 is minus 6. So I hope you got that right and if you did that's going to get you 2 marks. Okay, we now move on to part b. And in part b it says use the factor theorem to show that x plus 3 is a factor of f of x. So you might like to pause the video, give that a go, just to show that x plus 3 is a factor of f of x. Come back when ready. Or if you're having problems, our tutorial on the factor theorem may help you again solve this problem. Okay, welcome back. Let's see if you got it right. Well, if x plus 3 is to be a factor of f of x, I would expect f of minus 3 to come to 0 because there'll be no remainder. So what I'm going to do is just work out what f of minus 3 is going to equal and I'll hope that it will come to 0. So it's just a question of putting x as minus 3 into f of x. So we have 2 times minus 3 all cubed plus 3 times minus 3 all squared minus 29 times minus 3 and then minus 60. Okay now if I do minus 3 cubed that's minus 27 times it by the 2 that's minus 54 minus 3 squared here is 9, 9 3 is a 27 so that's plus 27 minus 29 times minus 3 that's plus 87 and then we have the minus 60 on the end okay work this all out and bingo we have 0 just as we had hoped so that means that x plus 3 is a factor so let's just summarize that rather than leaving it at uh, that stage so the examiners clearly appreciate that we understand the problem. So therefore x plus 3 is a factor of f of x. Okay, just write that in there. There we go. So hopefully you got that one right and again well done if you did and if you did give yourself two marks.